With years of dedicated efforts, today India has operational satellite launch vehicles and has the capability to launch light, medium or heavy satellites weighing up to 4 tons. GSLV Mark II is one of them. GSLV F-11 is the seventh flight of GSLV Mark II and is equipped with the indigenously developed cryogenic upper stage. This three-stage launch vehicle is 51 meters tall and has a lift-off mass of about 421 tons. It has the capability to launch two-ton class satellites into geosynchronous transfer orbit. The first core stage of GSLV Mark II consists of an S-139 solid motor and four L-40 liquid strap-ons. It is 20 meters long and carries 139 tons of composite solid propellant. The strap-on motors are individually 19 meters long and carry 42 tons of earth-storable liquid propellants. The second liquid stage is powered by a high-thrust Vikas liquid engine. It is around 12 meters long and uses earth-storable liquid propellants. The indigenous cryogenic upper stage is the third stage of the vehicle. It is around 9.8 meters long and uses supercooled liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen propellants. On top of the third stage is the 3.4 meter diameter payload fairing which encloses the satellite. GSLV F11 incorporates some major improvements. While the high thrust Vikas engine in the second stage enhances the vehicle performance, induction of electromechanical actuation system leads to improved reliability. In this mission, the vehicle will launch 2250 kilogram GSAT 7A communication satellite into geosynchronous transfer orbit. The satellite is configured on the standard I2K bus with bipropellant chemical propulsion system for orbit raising and in-orbit maintenance. The four solar panels are capable of generating around 3.3 kilowatts of electrical power. Ready to be launched from SDSC Shar by GSLV F-11 flight, GSAT-7A satellite will provide a variety of communication services to the nation for years to come. With its passenger satellite GSAT-7A safely mounted in its payload fairing, GSLV Mark II is standing tall majestically on the second launch pad of the Satish Dhawan Space Center at Sriharikota, waiting to begin its journey.